The Bobcat and Trailblazer will alert you to change the oil and filter after you have reached the preset oil life cycle time. Warning, please read and follow all labels and the owner's manual carefully. Never use an engine driven welder inside a home or garage, even if doors and windows are open. The only tools you will need are an oil filter wrench and drain pan. It is recommended that you let the machine run for a short period of time to lift any settled particles off the bottom and also help the oil drain out smoother. Now that the engine is warm, we can begin the oil draining process. First open the left side panel and remove it from the machine. This will expose the oil drain tube, which has a yellow rubber end to it. Place the tube over a drain pan and remove the end cap. To start draining the oil, twist the cap and pull it out. While that is draining, you can take the oil filter wrench and take the filter off. It is a good idea to put something beneath the filter to catch and soak up any excess oil that may drip out. Before putting the new filter on, take a small amount of new oil and wipe the rubber gasket to ensure a good seal. Once a new oil filter has been attached and there is no more oil coming out of the drain system, shut the valve and put the cap back on. Then tuck the oil drain line back into the case. Once the oil drain system has been closed and put back into place, we can add the new oil to the machine. To add the new oil to the engine, open the access door on the top of the machine. This will expose the oil fill cap and the dipstick. Open the oil fill cap, which will be on the left side of the engine, and add with your required amount of new oil and put the cap back on. After completing the oil change on your Bobcat 230, you need to reset your maintenance alert. To do this, you need to have your machine turned off and in the idle position. Toggle the ignition switch from run idle to run three times within five seconds. Once this is complete, your machine is ready for use. On the LCD display of the Bobcat 265 and Trailblazer 330, make sure to reset the service timer within the maintenance menu of the display. When you reset the timer, it will automatically be stored in the service log of the machine. Once this is complete, your machine is ready for use.